Jameson and James Daily Freak Show. Here we are in front of the uh, World of Wonder storefront gallery. The month of November is all about owlism here. It is an artful discourse on owlism in contemporary society. Theron and I worked our behinds off on this show. It did take a village, and I think everyone did a really good job, right? When you see what goes on inside, it's meant to look like you're coming into a forest. Come into the forest. Welcome to Owls. Hope you have a hoot. Are you our hostess for tonight? I am the hostess for tonight. Listen, this is Jordan, who's one of the interns here, who's one of my favorite people. She looks like the transsexual supermodel, uh, Terry Toy. Should we do the pose? Should we do the pose? Okay, do it. Am I easy to work for or am I difficult? You're the most fun to work for. Oh my god, I love you. Wait, I want to explain these right here. These were ceramic owls that Randy found um, on eBay. They were from the 1960s and you put, they were hairspray cozies. You put your hairspray over it and it helped decorate your bathroom. We found a warehouse in Japan. They've been sitting there since 1966. Randy bought the entire warehouse. I want to show you this. Just come this way. Just ignore Lenore Claire. We'll go. We'll come talk to her in a second. But you've got to see this first. Ignore Randy. Ignore everybody. Ignore all the kids. We'll look at the owls and then we'll go back and talk to people. Because what you have here is madness. Just sheer lunacy. Oh my God. I was just thinking about you yesterday. How are you? Look at this naturally blonde, gorgeous mane of so hair. Peroxide is natural. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Give us a spin. And uh, darling, tell me what's going on with you. Where are you? Um, I live here, but Charm School's airing on VH1. Yes. So yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Can you tell us um uh, any? Can you tell us the outcome? Uh, no. <laughs> can you tell me how much fun Sharon is? She's so much fun, but the other girls aren't so much fun. I know. I've been seeing that you have a few problems. Oh, my God. 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 Darling, darling. Uh, you must be the biggest owl fanatics I've ever met. I, I talk to you about owls all the time. We have a downright owl fetish, actually. It's that bad. It's on that level. Really? Yeah. Now tell me what. We were surrounded by owls the entire time on the Amazing Race. They were just, they were everywhere. I know that you guys were the most popular contestants, I think. And that was the best season ever, wasn't it? Like the most watched ever? I think it was some of the finest television programming ever in the history of time. <laughs> I might be a little biased. Uh, I don't know. Was, I don't know. Um, this is obviously someone working through some past life issues. Right? All With this that. owl obsession. A little bit. So what were you in a past life? I was a giraffe. Hey, we are in the presence of greatness right now. Miss Clancy Kavner, how are you, darling? I'm very well, thank It's you. your big night, huh? It's very exciting. The more I spend time with your owls, the more I become convinced that you're working through some sort of past life issues. Do you think that perhaps in a past life you were an owl? I may have been somewhat like Lilith, the despised owl lady. And um, I know that the owl represents sort of like female energy. Female energy is one of the many things that they right. can do. Well, owls are symbols of wisdom, they're symbols of mystery. What are some of your favorite owls that you remember? I like the wise potato chip owl right now. Danny Francesi, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a lollipop? I'm working on it, I don't really know. No, you're supposed to say a one, a two, a three. <laughs> Hi, Hi Steven, how are you? Hi, good. Well, you're the best dressed owl tonight. Oh, you're a lamb. Who's your favorite owl? Who? Who? <laughs> But what a hoot! Oh my God! It's Every cute. time I hear what a hoot. Chad, Michael, Morris, Hi. Chad and I were here at six o'clock in the morning with the damn scissor lift. You know what I did, right? You ran around Hancock Park picking up leaves. I ran around Hancock Park stealing people's leaves from their front yards and putting them one at a time onto the tree branches in a scissor lift. I taped the leaves to the branches. Come outside because I want to talk to you about something else okay. too. So now that you're here, I want to talk to you about this. You, sir, are the person who had Sarah Palin hanging in effigy outside of my house. The West Hollywood faggot that the world went up in arms The about. liberal faggot. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. It, it was just a whim. You hung her up for about two weeks before the media picked up to it. It, right? was, it was almost three weeks before anyone even said anything negative. Before that, we were getting applause. We were getting people saying, thank you. You know, everybody loved it. Well, all of a sudden, let's cut to a week later, you have how many helicopters? Six helicopters. News helicopters plus an LAPD above the house. We had Secret Service. Secret Service.
service, 12 sheriff outside our house. And a crowd of angry, angry people. And me hung an effigy. And someone hung you and it wrote Chad on it. How does it feel? Right. So you you must feel like you're Paris Hill. I felt like Britney. I did. I wanted to go shave my head, I like would, you said. Run say, out, yeah. Shave just run out, head. shave. I want you, I want you to stop wearing underwear. This is this is Mito. This is Chad Michael's boyfriend. Hi. Now, Mito, you also you work for one of my idols, one of my absolute idols. One of the great it girls of all time. Alexander von Furstenberg. Alexander von Furstenberg, everyone. I want to give a big shout out to my favorite homegirl, Alexander von Furstenberg, who is the prettiest of the Miller sisters. I want to just tell you that in, when I was in New York, literally people screamed and shouted on the streets when they left their house. I would pee my pants when I saw Alexander von Furstenberg. Wow, that's what I do. I pee my pants every, every day. Every day. I and do. what is she doing with herself now? She's doing acrylic furniture. Amazing acrylic furniture. And wait, what, kind, what does the furniture look like? It looks like gemstones and diamonds. Oh my god, I'm peeing my pants all over again. Are you too big for us now? Will you not talk to us now? Is that what it is? I'm very busy. I have to buy aerosol can covers. Plug it, plug it, plug it, bitch. What's happening? What am I plugging? You're plugging your show again. Oh, the Oblongs. I got to deal with Adult Swim. We're going to be making new episodes of the Oblongs. When was the last episode? 2001. How often do you think that happens in the history of television? That something will be off the air for seven years and then they say, and then it goes into syndication. Who? You. You. You are it. Ah. You are making history on Adult Swim. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is a very special lady in my life. Listen, how do we know each other? We met each other. We lived in the same dorm in NYU, 1985-86, when we were about 12. We were ahead of our time. And you, we lived in the same dorm, and you gave these extremely large, gorgeous parties, and you had the best ball, ball gowns of anybody. And I would go to the cafeteria every day. In I'd be in a tube skirt and heels, and I had a little candelabra that I would set on the thing, and I would sit by myself because I didn't have any friends yet. But you knew I remember my good friend uh, lent you her uh, Norma Kamali. Oh my god. I stole her Norma Kamali, but I want her to know that it went to really good use. Yeah. That I must have worn that thing to a rag. Maria saw you running to the limousine in her Norma Kamali. I was I was such a star. I thought that everyone was gifting me things when they would loan me a dress, an outfit. I would be like, thank you, and never give it back. No, well, why should you? You know, you have done the most amazing job. That's why I came to talk to you. I wanted to suck up the, the, the kudos, the juices. I love this, this wall of owls. It's in bat shit insane. Is that it? a parliament? That's a parliament of owls. Parli it's a murder of crows in a parliament of owls. What is a murder of crows? It's like a flock of any other kind of bird and a group oh, of owls. A murder. I thought you said murder of bros. No. no, that's what I do every time I, I oh, hit the typewriter. Hi, Mr. Barbado. Now, what is your favorite owl in the show? Can we go over and talk about it real quick? Yeah. Okay, come on. Look at the eyes. It really, it's owl. it's one of my favorites. You did an amazing job on the show. I love the curatorial vision. Well, you know, this is, I, I really have to say this, that there were so many people to thank for this show. Uh, Trevor Bailey, Steve Sims, all the people at World of Wonder, so good at troubleshooting shooting the interns chase and jordan did that video montage over there it's brilliant it's, it's so brilliant. brilliant there we go we wrapped up another show here at the world of wonder storefront gallery owlism and contemporary society it was fabulous it was wonderful jimsy james out